The East African Common Market Protocol was ratified in November last year by all five East African heads of state. Under the protocol, East Africans will be able to enjoy free movement as well as the right to own property and invest across the region. It's a higher stage of, of regional integration uh, beyond really the customs union which only applies to the free movement of goods. However, with less than a week to go, key laws that may hinder the realization of the protocol are yet to be enacted. Laws governing the movement of persons, labor and recognition of partner states remain unchanged. Under Kenyan law, only Uganda and Tanzania are recognized as East African member states with no mention of Rwanda and Burundi. Free movement of labor will now require relooking the labor market laws, the labor market regime that exists in our various partner states. Member states have however begun to put in place some reforms, with Rwanda already having scrapped working permits for all East African residents. Kenya and Uganda are also in the process of acquiring that generation identity cards, which will phase off the use of passports and border passes. Wapachu had earlier met with President Mwai Kibaki to chart the way forward for the integration process ahead of the legitimization of the common market protocol. Henry Gedaiga, Citizen Business.